Hello, thanks for joining me on this windy mid-October day. Um, gorgeous fall day, but windy. I am out for a woodcock hunt and happened to stumble across a fall of woodcock, which is a term describing the migration of woodcock when you come across a congregation of birds and, and a very high population. It's, it's interesting because woodcock migrate solitarily, um, but you will come upon areas that um, a number of birds have decided to spend the day in. They primarily migrate in the evening and in the night. So today, 30 woodcock flushes um, had the dogs out, both Sprocket and Maggie. Sprocket is the wire hair and Maggie is the yellow lab. They did okay. They're tired. They're laying in the car. I'm finishing a pipe and give you a shot of the hunt right here. Beautiful, beautiful fall day. What? Are you ready for some water? Huh? Hello, lab. Come on, somebody push a woodcock up for the camera. Maybe you saw that woodcock flush. Up oh, there goes one. Everywhere you turn, and they're gone before the camera can go out. You know. Yeah, nice, beautiful day. Bird in there, huh? I'm sure there was. All right, so I'm walking behind the pointer, and naturally the retriever flushes one. Actually, she pointed one and flushed. Can't quite see her behind that brush. Let's go over there. Did you find a woodcock? Did you find a woodcock? Oh, yeah. Good job for a yellow lab, huh? Where'd the other one go? Well, he's still sniffing around. What do you got now, Sprocket? I'm holding a camera and two grouse flush out of this little area here. Oh, Maggie. Maggie, holding the camera instead of shooting the gun. How stupid is that? Oh well. Touch his life. What do we got? 20 woodcock flush and two grouse. Yeah. What do you got down there, huh?
Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I said, it's a beautiful fall day, except for the wind. So the birds were flushing somewhat wildly, and the only two grouse I happened to see, well, I guess I had three flushes of grouse, one I did not see. Um, but the two that I did see, I had put the gun away and was getting the camera out because up until that point I hadn't seen any, and I had my limit of woodcock for the day. So, as is typical, birds are where birds are. You can't really predict where they're going to be, and that happened today. On this woodcock hunt, <laughs> I am smoking grouse moor. In fact, I wish there were more grouse, but we'll play on that word. Um, there were enough, and had I not been taking the time to do the camera, I probably would have had a grouse in the bag as well, so it would have been a nice mixed, mixed bag, but not to be today. And that grouse moor is being smoked in a Nording 1999, I believe. Yep, 1999 hunting pipe. This is the, oh, it depends on which which literature you look at, but it's generally the quail, sometimes referred to as the grouse, but it's really the quail. I'll call it my grouse pipe. I like the shape. I actually have two of these. I have this one, which is partially rusticated. And then I have a smooth version of it. And I've talked about grouse more before. It is a, for me, it's an autumn, an autumn tobacco. The fragrance that is in grouse more, some of it's lemongrass. There's a lot of other stuff going on too but I think it mixes very well with the smell of the decaying leaves, uh, the fungal growth that starts to bloom in this time of the year. It all mixes together very nicely. So to me, it's a fall tobacco. And we'll see where that jet happens to want to pass, but I think it'll be far enough away and stay off the camera. I don't really have much else to say. Um, Good hunting day, good shotgun, good dogs, good tobacco, good coffee, all of it makes for an awesome, awesome day. Life is good. I hope you are enjoying fall. If you are a hunter, you're getting out and enjoying the, the unmistakable smell of fall. If you're not, I hope your fall activities are most enjoyable. So with that, take care, and perhaps I shall see you again.